Am I the asshole? For dropping a child off because I was lied to about my pay? I 21 F work as a babysitter nanny while I finish my credits for my early child education. I'm very well known in my area and am professional, and have different ads for myself. I get multiple jobs a week. I don't normally babysit for family, but I agreed to a few days ago. The child was four, and with that age I usually charge $15 an hour, $200 a day. For this particular family member I agreed to do it for $150 a day. It was two hours in and my relative told me she could only pay me $50 80, and that she hoped I understood. I told her I didn't understand because I told her up front already, and that I even lowered my rate for her. This is what I live off of, I missed out on other opportunities that would pay way more, so I can't have her lowball me. She began ignoring me, so I told her if she continued I would drop her off at another relative's. She continued to ignore me so I dropped her off at this relative's sister's house, who agreed to watch her. Within a few minutes I got a text saying how unprofessional I was, and how dare I do that, that she's family and I was being extremely selfish. This is how I make money for a living, and I gave her multiple warnings and we agreed on a price beforehand. Not the asshole. If the customer is unwilling to pay the price, they don't get the work. You obviously cannot just abandon a child, but you didn't do that you took the child to a safe place and informed the parent immediately. Not the asshole. Submit an actual formal invoice for the time you actually babysat and then mileage reimbursement for transporting the child to another relative. Not sure if you have that kind of amount handy my company reimburses 60 cents per mile driven and you include the whole trip there and back. Keep screenshots of the conversation where she agreed to the original $150 then tried to shortchange you. And don't babysit for family again. I'm sorry. That sucks. Not the asshole, you handled this pretty maturely considering the sheer arrogance your relative was showing. Their attitude is astounding. Not the asshole. Kudos to you for standing up to your assholian relative. She's got a lot of nerve trying to pull that kind of BS. I hope you let your whole family know so she can't do it to anyone else the whole because family excuse is such an obvious cloak for taking gross. Not the asshole. She agreed to your original rate of $150. She was the only one being unprofessional by trying to blatantly cheat you into accepting a much lower amount. Not the asshole a million times over. Hired a worker pay the agreed upon rate. Babysitters are workers just like any others. Don't have money? Get money. Sell stuff, borrow stuff figure it out. But pay you must. Not the asshole. She lied to you and then tried to get you to be okay with paying less than you agreed upon. She is the unprofessional one. Not the asshole. You don't hire someone for $150 then, halfway into the gig, tell her, oh no. I only have $50. Sucks for you, your family. Huge not the asshole. You told her your rate and the discounted over you kindly have her. She accepted that by dropping off the kid with you. She absolutely does not get to decide what even bigger discount you must give her. She's very lucky you aren't suing her for loss of income or defaulting on agreed payment. She really is a huge jar. Wait I'm confused. How many hours are you babysitting at $200 a day? Because if you are charging $15 an hour, $200 would be over 13 hours. Not the asshole. This family member lied to you and then tried to manipulate you, which caused you to lose wages. Not the asshole but let this be a lesson to not work for with family. They're usually the worst customers. Not the asshole. Also massive lol at unprofessional. Professionals get paid. Not the asshole no pay, no sitting. And yes this is why people don't sit for family. Least you left the child in someone else's care that you knew. Not the asshole that's pretty big difference in pay. Not the asshole. She's trying to take advantage of you because your family. Not the asshole. 
The child was safe the whole time and the parent shouldn't have expected you to work for less money than usual, much less work for even less money than originally promised. It was unprofessional of them to not respond and deal with the situation. Not the asshole, she literally tried to rob you. Do not let her talk to you this way. What a jerk. I don't think she ever intended to pay you what you asked, only what she wanted. Never work for her again. Not the asshole. Not the asshole she's in the wrong, knows that, and is trying to take advantage of you because your family. Natar. No money, no work. If I was in your shoes I probably would have sucked it up and let her walk all over me. Please teach me your ways, crying face, not the asshole and good on you for not accepting lower than what you deserve. The child was four, and with that age I usually charge $15 an hour, $200 a day. So your average day of babysitting is 13.33 hours long or more? I'm calling bullshit. Not the asshole. You sound very professional, rock on. Not the asshole. But wow I'd rather pay you by the hour than by the day because 9 hours $15 is only $135. You get $200 a day. I guess that's a $65 show up fee. Not the asshole official or unofficial breach of contract, still the same. She literally tried to pay you a third of what was agreed on by both parties. Blame. Definitely not the asshole. She was taking advantage of you. Family or not, that is not cool and not right. If this is how you make a living, for her to try to screw you over like that is ridiculous. Absolutely not the asshole. Another great example of why it's dangerous to do business with family. Don't mix work with family. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Former early childhood educator, here it is one of those occupations that people walk over in a few ways, and this is one of them. Set clear boundaries with clear expectations and keep doing what you're doing. Not the asshole. You had an agreement on price for services rendered. She did not follow through on her end. I am glad that you had a safe place to bring the child. I aspire to these kind of boundaries. Well done. Not the asshole. Uck, not the asshole. If you're skinned, ask for a favor and be okay if it's refused. Don't agree to a price and then trap someone into doing it for less after they've already lost out on other work. How come the family member you dropped the kid off with wasn't asked in the first place if the parent wanted cheap free childcare? Not the asshole. Wow, what an entitled family member. They agreed to a set amount thinking that you wouldn't balk at them changing the pay. Shame on them and good for you standing your ground. Absolutely not the asshole. The person who lied is the asshole. Get your money. Not the asshole. Your relative was definitely trying to take advantage of you. A sad reminder of why business transactions with family members are usually a bad idea. Not the asshole. How dare she take advantage of you she's using the family card to screw you over.